what a difference it's made putting these doors into the building. It's so much quieter. As you can see, there's a road going to a car park, which is pretty busy, and you can barely hear it. I put all these in, put sound insulation in and everything, and this one I'm going to be putting the plaster on. Uh, it's going to be lime plaster onto here, so let's get into it. This is silica sand and quick lime, which has been sat for quite some time. all the plaster on the floor. I've just put some more water into the plaster because it was too, too hard before. Being perfectly honest, I don't have a clue if I'm doing this right or not. I don't know when to go over it. With plaster, you'd leave it until it goes like this and then go over it again, but don't have a clue. <laughs> I've just put that on and it looks like it's trying to crack. I'm going to try and sponge it all off and see if that helps. I'm struggling with the plaster cracking so I'm going to put some mesh in this next piece and maybe that will stop it from cracking. I'm going to pop a bit of that insulated lime plaster on now. Oh yes, that looks edible. Do a bit of the curvage. change of subject but just needs to do a bit of maintenance on the old motorcycle. It's not uh, not starting on the button and it needs a service and stuff.
this is the morning after plastering this with a hot mix lime plaster. I can get by using gypsum plaster, but this is the first time I've ever ever done lime plastering. It looks okay. It's fairly flat. I mean, that's that's a nice finish. But I've never done lime plastering and I don't even know if you can plaster onto magply, which is what's behind this. And the uh, I didn't wet this area here. I hope you can see it that kind of in the shadow there. There's a great big crack here and you can hear it's loose. I'm just tapping that and it hasn't adhered at all. So I'm just that's coming off with no effort whatsoever. Everywhere else it sounds like it's stuck. It's a learning curve and it's a healthy one as long as I can find out why it's happening. I put mesh in down here, I pre-damped that and that looks okay but I think using mesh is the way to go and making sure it's it's been pre pre-dampened. This room is going to kind of technically be outside. I'm going to just do a Nosterfield sand and lime in here and I will sponge it off as it's just a bit quicker and easier to do. After my little shrinking and cracking episode, I'm just going to tip that water off the top of that, tip it out. This has been sat for quite a lot of months as this should be, uh, should be really good, but I find it's the best when it's hot. I much, much, much prefer it when it's hot. It seems really, really sticky and workable. See, if that was... If that was hot, it would have stuck. It would have stuck to that then. Don't know what's going on here. I don't I don't know if that's because it's not it's not hot. It would as I say it's not very sticky now. Right, this is no good. Just not sticking to it. 
I'm getting more on the floor than I am on the wall. Two and a half silica sand and one quick lime for the plastering sand. That's what we're left with. See if this sticks this time. This, I've left this a day and it's it's um, gone a bit a bit harder and I think it's ready to go over. I'll sponge it off and then trowel it up. a closer look at it if you can see and this is it where it's just been sponged off there's a bit of texture to it these bricks from a, uh, a job I was working on they were just being chucked into a skip and the beauties well, it's been a couple of days so I'm just going to go go over this it's gone 
fairly fairly firm it still feels a little bit damp so let's see what happens I'm just getting rid of these uh, these high bits so this is us all pretty much dried out and please excuse my voice I'm feeling on a stag do I'm a little bit croaky and um, yeah it looks looks pretty good in here that's all fine up in that area it's dried out a nice colour and yeah it's this is this is quite smooth um, I'm happy with that and it's not cracked anywhere so it's all stuck down and through here it's pretty textured got some nice curves it's uh, it's not perfect which I quite like so it's not perfectly straight down there but I don't really like that at all and then this is this is looking good there's a couple of marks in like here where it's just the the mesh is just coming through a little bit but if it was painted you wouldn't notice that or I could fill it up a bit it's tried cracking but I think the mesh has helped it out and it, I could have done with watering it a bit more so if, as it's drying out and before it's carbonated but it'll probably still be carbonating underneath it for a few more weeks to be fair but yeah looks pretty good it's fine for a little like poetry entrance hall vestibule type thing so we'll be on to the next thing thanks very much for sticking with it and and for watching and yeah hopefully see you next time